Hello book lovers! Guess what? Today I'm doing another tag video. This is Kiss Me I'm Irish book tag and for this tag I was tagged by Valpix Candy and I will link her video in the description below so go check it out because her videos are great and she's great and everything so go and watch that. There are a lot of questions in this tag so I think that we should get started as soon as possible. So the first question is green and I have to find a book with green cover. My book with green cover is Witch War by James Clements. This is the uh, book 3 of the Banned and Banished series by James Clements. So this is my book with green covers. The next question is Blarney, a book that deceived you into either liking it or was overhyped and you ended up disliking it. I'm going to go for an overhyped book that I really disliked and for this one I have to choose The Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas because this book is overhyped and I really didn't like it. So I did a review on Goodreads and I also talked about this book in my book Sac Sacrifice Tag, so I'll link those in my description below and if you want to find out why I didn't like this book as much all the other people did, you should go and check those out. And I'm really sorry if you did like this book, because that's just my opinion and if I didn't like this book that doesn't mean that you won't like it. The third question is Brog, or whatever this one is pronounced. And in the brackets, the, there is a description that it means a dialect. And that is a book where one of the characters has an accent. And I don't own a physical copy of this book. But I would really like to pick Anna and the French Kiss for this one. Because St. Clair has British accent, so he has accent. And I really like people who have British accent. So Anna and the French Kiss. And the cover goes here. The next question is Leprechaun, and that is a book you enjoyed when you were a little person. So I couldn't really find a book with with all the pictures in it and everything. I found some of those, but I didn't really know which one of those I should pick for this one. So I just thought that maybe it would be better to go with an actual book, but I enjoyed this one when I was about 11, so I think that that could be considered as a little person, maybe. And that is The Vampire Assistant by Darren Shan, and I always loved vampires. I, I loved vampires even when I was 11 years old, so that explains a lot, I guess. And I really love this book, and the fourth book in this series is the first book in English that I read without having read it in Serbian before. So I think that those books really had influence on my language studies or anything like that. So The Vampire Assistant by Darren Shan. The next question is Spot of Gold, a book that costs you a lot or is of great value to you? So there are two books that cost me a fortune and I really thought that I should show you this one because I think this is the most expensive book that I've ever bought and it is Pharmacology and I had to buy this for my university and it was about 100 euros or something like that so it's really huge and I had to study it and I don't really like it so that was the most expensive book that I've ever bought. I think that I should show you something that I bought for my enjoyment, not for my university studies. And that is the Element Encyclopedia of Witchcraft. And I bought this because when I was writing a novel about witches, I thought that I would do some research or something like that. And I saw this in my local bookstore and I had to buy it. And it was, I think, about 50 euros. So that is my second most expensive book that I own. Four Leaf, Clover or Shamrock? More than one book, 
pick your current or old favorite series and I think you all know which series I'm going to pick and it's another vampire series and it is Vampire Academy by Michelle Mead and it is my all time favorite series and you should all read it because it is so great and this is the last book and this is my favorite cover and you all know this so let's skip to the next question Magic a book that you found magical or a book where you enjoyed the magic element that was found in the storyline. Mistborn Trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. This is third book of the Mistborn Trilogy. And I really enjoyed magic in these books because it's such, the idea is amazing. Because uh, we have all those people who have to ingest a uh, metal element and they have they have to burn it in their organism to produce some magical energy and I think that that's the concept is really great and the whole magical element of these books is really great and I would never even thought about that and I can't really I can't really think about how he got an idea like that because it is it is amazing I study a lot, a lot about chemistry and everything so I know a lot of, about these things but I would never even I would never think about something like that I don't even know how to explain that because that idea is just I have no words to describe it you should read those books world building is phenomenal Character development is great, magic is great, and the plot is great, and 5 out of 5 stars. Well done, Brandon Sanderson. You are a brilliant writer with a great imagination. The next question is, your current favorite book pairing or your all-time favorite book pairing? And for this one I have to go with a Vampire Academy pairing. And that would be Rose and Dimitri from the Vampire Academy. And I also have some other favorite pairing, and it is from the Black Magician trilogy, but I can't really tell you those because it would be like a spoiler, a really huge spoiler, so you just have to read those books to find out who it is. Luck, a book on your shelf that you will luckily get to someday. And for this one, I had to pick A Storm of Swords by George R. R. Martin and this is the third book of Song of Ice and Fire series and I had this book on my shelf for a while now and I really don't think if I should tell you how old I was when I first read The Game of Thrones because I don't think that that's really appropriate. So I read the first two books and the third book re wasn't really published uh, here in Serbia. So I had to wait for this book and when it got published I bought it but but then I just lost an interest. I don't know why but I stopped and then years gone by and I didn't pick those books up and then uh, then I've seen TV show and I really like that and I like that it was really I really wanted to read the first two books again but then I don't like reading books after seeing the show so I don't really know if I will ever read the rest of the series but I would really love to read them and I really love them so I don't really know what to think about it. These books are on my shelf and I would really like to read them and hopefully I will one day but I think that it won't be anytime soon. Jake, a, a book that if you don't currently own but if could get a hold of it, it would make you dance with joy. Can be a book that isn't released yet or a book you'd really like to own. And for this one I'll have to tell you um, which physical copy of the book I would really like to own and I would really like to own this book especially because of its beautiful cover and that is Ruby Red and the other two books in the trilogy 
and this trilogy is about time traveling so it's it sounds really interesting but that cover is gorgeous and I really like the hardback cover which is strange for me because I don't usually like hardback books but I really love those and I would really like to have them so I'll probably buy them and for the book that hasn't been released yet but I would really like to have it I would have to pick Sweet Reckoning by Wendy Hygins so the last question is Rainbow that's you lead other booktubers to this pot of gold tag tag your favorite friends to do this tag I'm going to tag a few people I am going to leave their names into description box so if you see your name there that means that I tag you to do this video and I really hope that you will have as much fun doing it as much as I did so I don't know what else to tell you and that would be my tag video and I really hope that you enjoyed it if you did give me a giant like and subscribe and I'll see you soon